This is the first Pack South ever. Gray Box. I never heard of Gray Box before. I've also never heard of Gray Box. Do they make Dreadnought customize your power? Oh, we saw them at yeah. PAX Prime. They had the capital ships that was all slow. Right. That somewhat interesting. Now they've got some other RTS, and that, I don't think the, first, the other one's even out yet. They're doing some sort of slow commentation. There's not much going on here. Yeah, they're letting people play and then commentating their games. All right. Exciting. Twitch booth. Twitch, once again, has the booth that we wish we had. I could really use a space like that. So they're advertising Twitch. Yep. Look at all those lights. They're One, two, three, four, five panels. They're playing Hearthstone. Pack South Live powered by Twitch. I wonder if they're going to put all those like YouTube people over there and do things. That's a pretty amazing uh, booth they have there in terms yeah. of a TV studio. But look, they've got two areas. They've got the, we are going to commentate on the game. And then they've got the, we are all being interviewed pre and post game. I uh, sure they do. And gigantic it booth. Not it's gigantic. That, it's not that gigantic. Not really that gigantic. Oh, so Logitech also sponsored their booth. Sort of gigantic-ish. You want to sign up to be in the alpha? Alpha signups. People are lining up to play alphas of gigantic games. I was in the alpha of the realm too. Shit didn't even work. You'd like walk into a room and then the server would crash. Here's the game. It's a game. Let's see if we can find anyone playing it. Find the other side. Oh, right over here. Oh, this team is waiting up for another team to form. Yeah. Let's see what this game is like. Oh, their house, Orion. I don't even know what kind of game this is. About to find out. Maybe it's a MOBA. It's five on five. That background looks like a like classic adventure game background. Like your character's gonna walk and kind of 3D scale along that bridge. It's like Arana's Garden in Quest for Glory. <laughs> it's probably a MOBA. What other game is five on five? I think this room. Counter Strike. I think what we need are five on five games that aren't MOBAs. Counter Strike. Sure. Counter Strike is five on five. At least in uh, competitive. And in casual, it seems to be twenty on twenty because fuck having a good game. Oh, the game is starting. All right. Oh, no, it's third person? Well, he's oh, character, no, the selection. character selection. Ooh, I like that robot guy. All right. He's all twitchy. Look at that. Cactuses. Those are a bonus. All right, looks like there's multiple loadouts per character. Oh, this guy's the community coach. He's explaining to everyone, like, what's going on. Oh, uh, okay. They got one ringer on each team. That's telling everyone actually what a to good do. idea for a game like this. Yeah. So they got this one guy. He's definitely, he's an employee of Gigantic, right? And then they have these other players. Let's watch this dude play. There's a surprisingly long line to play this game, but it seems like it just takes them forever to get the game going. Apparently it's really complicated, like a MOBA or something, so you need a, uh, you know, you can't just start it up no, without any hassle, which is why there's a big long line. All right, I saw a bunch of stuff over there about AOEs, and it's definitely some sort of just straight up MOBA. What else would be five on five, I'm telling you. The problem with new MOBAs is that if you invest in getting good at them and then the game does not become really popular, you just wasted all that time. That's true with any big multiplayer game that you invest in. But which with is MOBAs, why the, the speed running is kind of awesome, right? Because people, oh, it's a third person MOBA. Yeah. It's pretty fast, actually. I don't know how much skill is in it, but it looks fast. Well, the other thing I don't see is farming. Look, it's area control, maybe. Maybe. Oh, summoning creatures. Maybe you can control the mobs, like we always said you should be able to. That's a good idea. Maybe this is worth it if it's it's going to be free to play, right? Probably. I'm uh, guessing. Every MOBA is free to play. Right, so you can at least try it out. And maybe All right, they made a dragon. Sweet. Now, is that dragon going to go fuck up the other side, MOBA style? Well, hopefully. I mean, fighting people, fighting people, fighting, fighting. Oh, does it have like action action game fighting? Like yeah, but it looks like it looks like the fighting is deeps. Oh, uh, it's, it's not like Bayonetta or something. No, or, this uh, looks like it's just DPS. Not Dark Souls kind of fighting. This is World of Warcraft. I'm hit doing my attack, attack, attack. Yeah. There's guns though. All right, we had enough. I think so. We spent a lot of time on that game. What is Tiny Build? What else is going on here? Looks like a bunch of little. Ooh, nice foam carpet. I'm feeling this. Oh, you like to stand on the carpet? It feels really good.
Oh yeah. Ah. Much more comfortable than the concrete floor. Carpets. If you have a booth, get a carpet. Fearless Fantasy. It's a bunch of like tablety games. Let's check it out here. Come play it. Want to play this game? I've never played it. Leon and Alice. I bought a hot potato dog. Rainbow berry ruses. A revive grenade. Casual. Oh. It's a turn-based RPG. With rhythm game stuff going on. But I mean, Mario RPG had that. But it's just that. I'm not determining what to do. Now I am. Okay. So I was doing that on the defense. I'll use Shield of Courage. You were perfect on the first try. Of course. Well, I'm on casual mode. Maybe it doesn't tell you the gestures on the hard mode. Poor. Now I'm not doing well. On casual mode, you suck if you can't do it. Fail? What's going on? I was doing fine. Maybe you used to do both at the same time or something? But they appear at different times. Maybe I gotta do some different kind of motion. Yeah. Multi shot. It's multi shots at one guy. What? What? Poor. <laughs> that was epic. Okay. <laughs> okay. Try dragging? But they have the. Stop. They, you keep doing the same thing over and over again. Try something different every time. Like, try dragging or. Let's well, see. that one's. Oh, she looks like she's asleep. Uh, she's dead. Because you Sleeping. suck so much. Why do you suck so much at this tiny game? Yeah, you want to play this game? No. So I think Clev is selling hardware. But look at this booth. Look at that ridiculous PC with this liquid cooling. I have this ridiculous booth. Clev. All right. Three-way monitor. This is big, like, Apple-looking booth. But that computer is not Apple looking. It's definitely. It's it's look at that! Look at that RAM stick on display. Well, it's that thing they sell the RAM sticks. That's yeah. their product. They sell. They sell RAM. Clev RAM sticks. Oh my God, they're just RAM sticks. Why would this RAM stick? Oh, here's a Clev guy. Want to talk to the Clev guy? All right, here we go. That game has an amazing name. I see something amazing over here. Star Mazer. How can this be bad? It looks a lot like our type. Here we go. There's a plot. That guy's our guy. There we go. Looks more like Gradius. That's Gradius, not our type. But it's also got an adventure mode. I think it is Gradius with a plot. And an adventure mode straight up. And he seems, the guy's, like, I'm hearing what the guy's saying, kind of, because I'm kind of paying attention to him. He's saying something about being episodic. Now on Kickstarter. Get it, get a Star Mazer room. No. Why not? Gotta carry that shit around. Put it in my bag. You want it? You really want it? Yeah. Like, you gotta get out of my way then. I'm gonna throw it at someone. You really want this? You really? Yeah, it's a paper. It's better than the paper craft Naruto. How am I gonna put it in your bag? I gotta roll it up. It's thick paper. Who gives a shit? It's gonna be all shitty and busted. That's fine. Who cares? It's a piece of paper. It's like paper Naruto. Oh, it's way bigger than yeah. I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Suddenly there's problems. Suddenly this isn't such a great idea. It's in. We're good. It's Joust, the greatest game. So bright. Why did you find me? Game of Champions, Joust. This is an updated, better, incredible version of multiplayer jobs, yes. 
If you is there, want to look at it that way. Is there a terrible pterodactyl? There is no terrible pterodactyl, but there is a gigantoraptor. That's close enough. Oh, we should come back and play this. It's just Joust. Yeah. <laughs> I like Joust. <laughs> the guild. This reminds me of Kingdom of Loathing, but better art. It is the guild of Dungeoneering. Oh, look, you're like dragging cards, like a cardy game. You drag cards to make the dungeon, and then you put monsters in it. So you make a dungeon? You're not, uh... Exploring the dungeon is making the dungeon. Oh, a lot like those D&D uh, tabletop games, like um, Ravenloft and the other one where you put a tile down every exactly. turn. Exactly. It's that model, only single-player video game. That's not bad. And I think it's versus. I could play that. That's not bad at all. That is not bad at all. That's got some cute stuff going on. Look at that little goblin. Look at that cyclops. That dungeon, it keeps expanding. Elite Dangerous, 400 billion star systems. Elite Dangerous. Infinite freedom, blaze your own trail. There's a line. Let's go see what the game is. Supposedly I can blaze my own trail with infinite freedom. Let's see people blaze their own trails with their infinite freedom. Joysticks, Rim. Joysticks. Oh, shit. Throttles. Throttles and sticks. Throttles and joysticks. Uh-oh. It's that good joystick. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, look at that screen there. I'm waiting for this screen to start up. I want to see a fresh screen. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Right in the wallet. Right in the wallet, Rim. No. I just bought a shitty joystick for TIE Fighter. Now I might have to buy a good joystick. Pay attention, rookie. The simulation involves ship-to-ship -ship combat. <laughs> Elite and dangerous. The line is... Worthy. How did I not notice this was on the horizon? Here it goes. Oh my god. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look at that free space flight with modern computing. Is that actual debris? It's an asteroid field. Do -do -do -do. I like how the cockpit moves to make it feel more motion y. Yeah, like you're in the cockpit moving around, right? Your your body is moving around in the cockpit. With the to go. Well, it gives you a visual indicator of your sort of like momentum. That guy, it feels like he's moving fast, but the enemy seems like he's moving slow. I don't know. Well, I mean, sometimes you're fighting a Y wing. And yeah, that's that's turn. true. That's true. Only this not is worthy of further investigation. If only this was Star Wars. Yeah. Your only fault is that you are not Star Wars. <laughs> no, don't don't bump it. Whoa. We should make this. Take this engine. I you know a game we should make with it. Tie Fighter. Sinistar. Oh. Run, coward! You can just see it on the horizon. Oh my God. And it comes for you. You've got to like get to an asteroid and drop Marines to go mine it. Yeah. Like Marines are fighting off the aliens and mining that shit. This is Moonrise. It oh. has a big line also. This looks like one of those cute art games. I don't know what kind of game it is, though. Let's see what we can see. Oh, it looks sort of like Pokemons. It's like yeah. you're sending your dudes into a... Uh, you're going oh, to look. A they've hinted they're going to be at PAX East and PAX Prime and do some sort of reveal at each one. So it's, it's Poke Combat. These guys are going to fight. You know what will sell me on this game? If you can tell your Pokemon to attack the trainer. Because it looks like the trainer has his own health. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the, the trailer that looks much more impressive than people failing to play. Command magical animals to fight each other like Pokemon in a cockfight. All right. Life is futile. This looks... Futile. Yeah, get it? Get it? <laughs> Life is <laughs> futile. <laughs> And here's some feudal people. They are feudal. All right, just monitor over there. Let us examine the feudalism. Feudally. Here's some more feudal folks. I see. Look how feudal they are. They are so feudal. All right. All right, build a little town, I guess. 
Oh, you are a feudal lord, I guess, and you are building a little defensible feudal place. That town has been built using only game mechanics. Act Razor, only the good part? Can it be? The good part of Act Razor? No, it's going to be one of those uh, military games, like military formation fighting. No, you ruined it. You should have just had town building. Why did you put <laughs> another part in? That wasn't any good. No target physics-based combat. So fail. Full loot. Wait, wait, no, look at this loot system. Oh, my God. We've seen enough. Oh, my God. We've seen enough. All you right. want to go? You want to go pull literally everything off of a corpse for like 10 minutes? There's two games going on here, Black Ice and Earth Tongue. So that's Black Ice, I think, which looks kind of cool. Is that multiplayer FPS? I'm always leery, though, of any first-person game that has melee, if the melee is in any way emphasized. Mm. And then this is the something else? This is a different game. It's fast. I'll give it that. Whack. Whoa, he just died in one shot. Whoa. You know, to this day, the Jesus. I can't tell if this is a joke or if it's actually a religious thing. I think it's actually a religious thing. Swords and soldiers. That looks like that old King Arthur game, Two. but zoomed in. You just send guys from your side, and then you're fighting against the guys from their side. Pretty typical game. You, you know what it is? It's a 2D RTS. Yeah, we see those a lot. It's not a, it's not a new genre. Okay, this needs, this is worthy of investigation. Just because of the title? Yeah. Are you looking at Brawlhalla? I am looking at Brawlhalla. Oh, what's that Bomberman looking bomb he's got up there? All right. So this is Brawlhalla. Ah, ah. Bunch of dudes. Let us brawl. Bunch of character selection. Let's watch Sailor Moon brawl here. Will they ascend? Will they ascend to Brawlhalla? So is this going to be more smashy, or is it going to be more like Bionic Commando multiplayer-y? We're going to find out real soon. All right, you got to throw, dodge, quick pick, heavy jump, taunt. This looks like it's going to be smash. I think it is Smash Bros. style. Three, two, one, brawl holla. Holla for the brawl. It's Smash. It's Smash Bros. For the PC. It's probably not as good as Smash Bros. Yep. So far we've seen uh, off-brand Pokemon and off-brand Smash. Nice booth though, Brawlhalla. Do you know how useful that would have been back at RIT? That ship? Do you need dungeon maps? There was a time in my life when I Do you need a dungeon, dungeon map maps. for a boat? They are Arknight. Arknight. Arknight sells dungeon maps for your dungeon. This is called Night Squad. It looks like versus Gauntlet. It does look a bit like a versus Gauntlet. But maybe it plays more like a Power Stone because it's fast, but without the 3D action part. And instead just 2D action. Is there a Bomberman aspect to this, I think, also? Well, they can. looks like they've destroyed a bunch of the walls along the way. This looks like one of those party games that'll be good for a short while, but I don't know how long it'll hold up. Yeah. This would last one New Year's party. Yeah, not even. Maybe like one part of a New Year's party. Well, look at this booth and its high production values. I'm kind of oh, yeah, that's now. the... This is uh, Vlambeer, who is oh, the yeah. uh, ridiculous fishing slash... Uh, oh, best run. Win a TV. Ridiculous fishing, luft rousers, Oh, you know what they did? They totally bought TVs for the show, and they don't want to bring them back, so they're just going to give away their two TVs. Are they giving away their TVs? Win a TV. Two, they're giving away two TVs. They currently have two TVs. I am confident if you win this contest, you win either that TV or that TV. So this is the new game from those who brought you Ridiculous Fishing and Love Trousers and whatnot. This game looks all right. Can you tell you guys the story about his booth? Something happened with his booth? We didn't have one as of noon yesterday. Oh, uh, so we had to make the ghetto booth in a hurry. The Wacom tablet guys didn't show up. He was here visiting and he goes. Wacom didn't show up, huh? Wacom didn't show up. So he goes and he's talking to the PAX guys and he's just like, yo, you've got an empty booth and that looks bad. 
They're like, yeah, we don't know what to do about it. And he goes, I do. Oh, so there you go. Best Buy buys a couple TVs and throws this up. Oh my God, that explains the win a TV. Yes, it's incredible. It should happen to tell it to you. Peter Circus. All right, what's going on here? They're beer circling. The, okay, this has got more like action. It's dodge and strike, third person. All right, here he comes. It gets open in it. It's like a bullfight with beer circles. Or is that like the Team Forge's two door that opens and lets you out? I think it's one on one. Like Jedi Knight 2? Yeah, it seems like Jedi Knight 2, only crazier. Faster. Oh, he's running away and throwing projectile strategy. It's the rim strategy. The rim strategy is often a very good strategy. Uh, I'm losing interest. Yep. I'm done beer zerking. Funimation booze. Always seems kind of weird to have like a Funimation in the Expo Hall. Like Expo Hall seems to have usually traditionally been like show off games. And not shop. Not, not, not vending. Yep. Okay. Princess Bride playing cards, Goonies playing cards, Ghostbusters playing cards. Somebody printed a bunch of nerdy playing cards and is selling them. Officially licensed playing cards. Breaking Bad, Goonies, yep. Ghostbusters. That is, that is. They're just playing cards. That is nerd cash in. Thing. It's like one Rim. step. It's. It's video, video ball. ball. Woo. In a dark future, in a distant. <laughs> <laughs> video it's. ball was one of the better things we saw at Prime. This game just gave me such this like. Old Atari combat, but not broken. Also, like, all you those, sucked like, at it big time. Yeah, because I sat down with three veterans and me. And you got it all. <laughs> I, his commentation was something like, he must have been dropped on his head by his parents as a child. This is the worst player in video ball history. He has, in fact, scored a hat trick of own goals. Yeah, triple own trick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're done with the amazing radio ball. And, and now, now, gun sport. Oh, this is volleyball with guns. What is this publisher? It is Iron Galaxy. You know, it's just like that shoots me out thing. This is the season, the renaissance of direct competition, simple games. Volleyball with guns. How could you not buy this? And also video ball. You know what this is going to be? This is going to be the next Windjammers. Are they making these because Windjammers? I don't know what spawned this renaissance, but I'm not going to complain. Sorry, Nidhogg. <laughs> Gunsport and video ball exist. Yup. <laughs> Nidhogg came too soon to this earth. Ooh, a spooky ghost. Oh, Liddy had one of these. Ghostry users and download the web. Spooky ghost. Most popular Ooh. something. So you're basically saying, look, we help these people block all your garbage, but then we're gonna sell you the garbage we just blocked. Yeah, All right. but it's anonymized that this when you sell it to them. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I don't know why you're coming to PAX. Faded hive jump, bunch of little stuff going on here. All right, so here we go. This is Texas Twist Poker. Poker, 3D poker. Uh, Rim, you Not, give it a shot. You give it a shot? Yeah. All right, so what's the deal? Let me teach you how to navigate first. I think you can get a flush. It's like you're surrounded by clubs, basically. Look, there's a flush right there. Go back left. Yep. Go. Rim, go down. A twist might take it away. Look, you can see the flush. Just go down, down, right, up, Every up. time you move, then something moves. It twists. Oh, damn it. There's a flush right there, though. Yeah. I think if you move, you can probably get it. I'm going to go like, take one of them. Take the queen. It's higher. Yeah. Take the queen. It's higher. I'll take the queen. See what happens. See what happens. Okay. Can you go for another club? Yeah, I can. It's a seven. I'm doing it. Go yeah, go down. No, go down. Uh, it's going to twist me, and I can go down into the ace anyway. See? But if I go for the ace, no, there's a two there. No. Yeah, go for the ace. Yeah, that's the ace. I got to hope go for straight. a twist, though. It's all right. You're good. I'll need one good twist, or it's not going to work out. That's good, yeah. So I, I go only got one two. club now. So uh, if I don't but get then a, you'll have trouble after yeah, the Yeah, like I said, Scott, if I don't get it, I need a good twist. So I got a ace high. We got garbage. We got garbage. 
Chess X booth. Here, you want to buy some old NES games? Like what? Robocop. 250 bucks for Mega Man X2. Uh, I have Mega Man X2 on the GameCube on like a re-release disc. Yeah. I don't think I need to pay $150 wow, for a Robocop, legit copy. 80 bucks for Robocop? I have Robocop, and I have the box. You, do you have it in the instruction manual with a piece of plastic around it? I think we it? threw away the instruction manual, but I might have the box. Magic of Shahrazad. Yeah, that game was awful, but also amazing. Yeah, you played a whole other game of Shahrazad, and then... <laughs> 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 Retro stuff. Well, can I really sell my Final Fantasy III without his box for 80 bucks? I've got one. Do you need the 80 bucks? Do I need it more than I need a piece of plastic? And you can just emulate Final Fantasy 3 if you need to. What I'm looking for are games that I forgot about that I want to play, right, that I can just emulate when I get home. You always knew if someone had this cartridge that also had track and field. Yep, they got the power pad. Right. They got the power pad set. You knew. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. You know if someone had this cartridge with the track and field, Duck Hunt, and Mario? They got their NES way later than everyone else. Yep. All right, so check out this. People have been talking about this a lot. I actually know loot about crate? this. Yeah, Loot Crate. So have you seen this? I have not seen this, so tell me what's going on, Scott. Okay, so Loot Crate. You subscribe to Loot Crate. You pay some subscription fee, and I All think right. you can pay at different tiers maybe or something. And, like, every month they will send you nerdy shit in the mail. Just like, surprise, here's some nerdy shit. That would not be good for us. So, but the nerdy shit is shit you don't want. Like, well, usually, like, these figures and pretty much whoever's sponsoring them. Well, like I'm saying, it would be bad for us because we're trying to avoid having stuff in our apartments. Right, but it's like, so, for example, if you are Fun Pop making these figures, that clearly there's a flood. They flooded the market with these figures. They're in every goddamn store. They're all over the place. There's yep. millions of them, right? And people are not buying them as fast as they're making them. Though they are popular, uh, they're not... I think they're printing more than there are. Yeah, yeah. You can basically sell off your merchandise that you don't want that's not selling, your excess inventory, and to Loot Crate. And these people subscribe to Loot Crate, and they're like, yay! And you're, you just, dumping, you're just dumping you know your excess is? inventory. You are paying to not have to stand in line in expo halls to get free stuff. Right. It's like, oh, I made too many of these, I don't know. Walking Dead figure. Now, look what's interesting. Cause look I've made too many Gollum Mecha Scalers. Oh, no one's buying these things. I know. I'll sell them to Loot Crate for a super discount. I'll Look get them the out of my warehouse. Japanese anime style thing going on here. There's Walking Dead and Game of Thrones little figures in mystery packs now in the U.S. Yeah. Well, these are things that are in every comic book store yeah. that you ever go to. But most, they yeah, just don't, I go to comic book they don't sell, really. This is right. somewhat interesting, I guess. This is Rust Bucket. Rumbly. Looks like versus. Rumble. Yep, some versus going Rumbling. on there. You're rumbling like that, you're gonna just break your hot shoe right no, off. No, I'm fine. <laughs> it's good. Let's watch someone rumble. All right. Side scrolly shooty little con. Oh, he picked up a bag of garbage. Is this versus? Oh, he's trying to get that. That's resources, I think. Well, it's rust bucket rumble. I don't know. Is it like contra in some way? Uh, oh look, yeah, look. He's he's only got two. He needs two more things to finish his giant robot. I want to see Red get his robot. Yeah, we got to see what the robot looks like. If that's the highlight of the game, it's coming soon. Oh, yeah, it only needs the head. It's basically versus Sinistar. Yeah. If you think about it. Yeah. Just everyone's workers, and you both have Sinistars that you're working on. We should just make versus Sinistar, <laughs> where you fly around. We should just make single-player Sinistar. That exists. It's called <laughs> Sinistar. Run, coward. No, with the 3D engine. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> Well, we could have all those modes in, like, Sinistar HD Remix. We could put all those modes in there. I wonder what the license for Sinistar would cost in this Almost day Almost nothing. Age. Midway has it, right? Maybe we should just buy it and hold on to it's it. It's a Midway license. I don't know if they still exist or who owns them now. I'll try to find out who has the current IP rights to Sinistar. We're waiting for the giant robot. Oh, is it happening? Yeah. It's happening. Oh, there it is. It's happening. It's happening. Oh, it went off screen. No, it's it's going over to smash the base. Oh, the giant robot might not make it? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's just punching the base repeatedly and quickly. I think it's over, Blue. I think it's over. Schools. Game over, man. Game over. So this is Super Fight. I know everything about this. Yeah. This is Cards Against Humanity, Apples to Apples, except it's only you argue about who would beat who in a fight. Oh. So it's like I think you put out one. I don't know the rules for sure, but I think you put out a card. Then everyone plays a card about who would win in a fight, and then the decider decides. 
And that person is the person who wins that hand. Shapes and beats. Shapes and, shapes and beats. beats upgrading the booth. Just shapes and beats. We got oh man, they upgraded the booth big time. Let's go check it out. Do you want a shape or do you want a beat? Both. This is just shapes and beats. Shapes and beats. Yeah, we played it at PAX Prime when you had a much tinier booth, and now your booth is bigger, which makes me happy. Yep. You guys are doing good things. We're fans of this game. Feel the beats. Can you feel the beats? Can you see the shapes? Oh, good God. Are you kidding me? How are you supposed to de deal with that? I'm being good. <laughs> there is, like, no tell on when those are coming. Like, you can see them, like, off the edge of the screen for, like, a second. Less than a second. And they take up so much space. Like, you have to use the dash power to get out of that zone because it's so wide. But you're just going to hit another one. Yeah, look, everyone's dead. How much practice would it take to be able to get through that? Should this be no Megaton game? Maybe. Four player? Yeah. Se like, second to last round? Oh, it looks like Deja Vu crossed with VVVVVVVVVV. V, 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 v. Klaus. Are you a YouTuber? Do you make gaming content? What are they trying to sell? Game Wisp. Game Wisp? They're trying to sell I game I Oh, uh, yeah, they're yeah, we don't, microphones. We don't need that shit. Well, it's not called Settlers anymore. It's just Catan. Oh, yeah, look. Play Catan. Play Catan. Because I guess the word Settlers is scary. Some people call it Settlers. Some people call it Catan. Young <laughs> people are going to call it Catan. And old people are going to call it Settlers. They have games at Mayfair. OK. This is? Oh, it's Uwe Rosenberg. Oh, Patchwork. This Uwe Rosenberg. Probably, this is probably an OK game. Maybe. Oh, his indie tabletop uh, <laughs> land. Didn't we just do our show about how indie tabletop sucks? All right, well, let's look at it. So, Goblin's, Goblin's breakfast. breakfast Card Game. Oh, they're raffling off that dragon with the sword. Goblins are going to eat breakfast here. There's food that goblins like to eat. I wonder if we could review these games just by standing back and looking at the faces of the people learning. It looks like Munchkinish. Yep. Let's look in there. Does anyone look like they're at a, ta a table that has a crowd? Or that people look like well, they're I've really invested? I've heard good invested? things about that paperback game. Early modern mayhem conduct. This that has got some like Lovecraft. It's got some good styling. Yeah, Lovecraft theme. I don't think it's a Lovecraft theme. It looks like 18th, 19th century occult investigators. It looks more like Kill Dr. Lucky situation. Uh, did you read that text at all about the hermetic investigation into the whatevers? Oh, uh, no. This is definitely some more... Uh, is it more like the ship in uh, that Half-Life mod? The, did Ep the ship have hermetic investigations? Epic resort. Build your resort, luring heroes. Get, so it's you make a resort, but it's actually a dungeon? Ooh. OK. A lot of card games. Look at all these card games. Bring your own book. It's a game where you use books. Huh. That's interesting. It's a tabletop game where a book is involved. That is interesting, actually. That is actually really interesting. All right, step two, open your book. Now get away. Find text that matches the prompt. Oh. Dialogue in an action movie. So you have to find, like, somewhere in the book that it All says. Right. Okay, so there's going to be bigger decks. Right, but here's the thing. Here's, I just realized this. So in Cards Against Humanity, it runs out when you've seen all the cards. You need more cards. Here, just change your book. Yeah. Just change your book. And it you use the same prompt, becomes good again. Yeah. Romance novels only. Dragon Heat. Dragon Heat. Now, the one problem about Texas is the low quality of the people who attend them. I mean, look at this, these specimens here. Eat Quiet, thing. sullen, playing Come some tabletop game. Look, look at the sheer dick. disrespect they're showing. sucks. For themselves, Fuck for Penny Arcade, and for Ass. decent humanity. 